Hi scholars, today I am going to read you a Friday fun read and this is called Oh the Things My Mom Will Do. And this story I want to read to you because on Sunday is Mother's Day. And if you had a chance, you could check out Allen Tube and there was a video with Mrs. Chen teaching you about how to make some homemade crafts to decorate for Mother's Day. And we will do one more project today at the end of the story. Okay, so this story is called Oh, the Things My Mom Will Do. And I want you to think about if your mom does some of these things too. Our family woke up late today. The dog unplugged the clock. The bus is honking up the street as I hurry down the block. My mom is running after me in her pajamas and bare feet. She hands my lunchbox to the driver as I fall into my seat. Oh, the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. My head is feeling achy, my tummy icky sick. I know what's gonna happen next. Mom, I yell, come quick. She scoops me up inside the loop between her arm and body, then zooms me like a rocket to land me on the potty. Miss May picked me to be the frog in our school's upcoming play. Mom learns about my costume with the show one day away. She goes out shopping while I sleep, then sews and glues with speed. She's still sewing when I wake up to finish what I need. Oh, the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. The mother's tea is soon to start. So far, my mom's not here. She said her work would end in time. I promise, she made clear. I start to cry as lunch begins when, yippee, here she comes. I don't see the speeding ticket. She's hiding as she runs. Our pet hamster cage is quiet. I think he's feeling sick. He's not making squeaky noises or doing his best trick. Mom makes her bed, the pull-out couch, and wakes up round the clock to feed him orange juice from a dropper and rock him in my sock. The stormy thunder wakes me up with a very loud kaboom. It shakes the house and lights the night and scares me in my room. I wake up mom and crawl in bed and take the middle spot. She hardly sleeps along her edge cause I kick and move a lot. Oh, the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. Our family's busy every day. Seems mom is gone a lot. She asks me please to understand. I pretend, but I do not. Mom peeks her head into my room and say, let's go to Rocket Park. No cell phone or computer, just me and her till dark. Me and Charlie go out back to dig up worms and bugs. We bring our new friends back inside and spread them on mom's rug. She screams and drops her laundry stack her eyes grow big with fright. Then she helps us big a cardboard house to keep them out of sight. Oh, the things my mom will do because she loves me through and through. Me and mom are doing errands to what seems like everywhere when I suddenly I can't remember where I left my bear. Mom forgot about her shopping and turns the car around. We revisit seven places until Lost Bear is found. The stars are twinkling in the sky when mom stops beside my bed to pick up bear from the floor and put kisses on my head. She sits down then in the stillness and whispers in my ear. I try real hard to act asleep and this is what I hear. I hope you know how much you're loved. Yes, through and through and through. And no matter what the days do bring, I'll do anything for you. And that's the end. Okay. So the message behind the story today is no matter what moms are doing, whether they're busy with work or they're doing something in the home, um, everything that moms do for you is because they love you through and through. Okay, scholars. So today for a Mother's Day project, I'm gonna make Mrs. Chin a little bit bigger. We're gonna make a Mother's Day card. So 
that what you can do is you have some paper around your house. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to take it and you're going to fold it in half. Okay. And it can be um, hot dog style or if you want it to be hamburger style, you can do it this way. So if you're going to do it hamburger style, then your card is going to go open this way. If you're going to do a hot dog style, then your card is going to open this way. Okay, so I think um, today I'm going to do it um, hamburger style to give me a little bit more room. Okay, I'm going to try my best to draw um, holding up the clipboard so that you can do your project with Mrs. Chin today. Okay, so we're going to do a really simple card, but it, what's important is the message that you write inside for your mom. So we're going to make two peas in a pod because it's you and your mom. And that's a saying is like we, we belong together like two peas in a pod. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is kind of make like a half moon or have a half a circle and that's going to be the pea pod. So I'm going to make it kind of big because I want to take up the space of my paper and I'm going to slant my pod a little bit. Okay just to give it a little bit of design. So I'm gonna draw the line like that. And then I'm gonna just draw like a smiley face, okay? So that's step one. Now step two, you're gonna draw two peas here, but one pea should be bigger because that's for your mom. And the second pea should be a little bit smaller because that represents you. And you do wanna have a little bit of space in between so that you can draw a heart in the middle to show love, okay? So I'm gonna draw the mom pea on this side and then the baby pea on this side. Okay, so mom pea, and then I'm gonna draw baby P. Okay. Now, um, in the middle, I'm going to draw a heart to show that you love each other. Okay. So we have our heart there. Now, what you can do here, scholars, is you can do the kawaii cartoons and draw in your eyes for your P. Okay. So here's Mama P. I'm gonna put a little bit of a mouth, okay? And you can um, use your colors, if you like, to make a cheek. So I'm gonna put little red cheeks, and then I will go back and color my peas green, okay? And then I'm gonna have the little baby pea. And I'm gonna have a little smile. So I have a little different, mom kind of has like a little open mouth. I'm going to make her mouth a little bit bigger. Open mouth and baby P has a smaller mouth. I'm going to add in the cheeks, okay? And then what you can do, scholars, is um, if you color, I would make the peas like a lighter green. And then I would make the pea pod a little bit of a darker green to give some contrast to your card, okay? So look at how it's two different colors. And then of course you can color the heart, your any color you want, pink or um, purple or red, whatever color your mom likes, okay? So we have our P drawing here. Now I'm gonna leave it up to you where you wanna say the saying. You can say it up top. You could say it on the bottom, or you could say part of it on top and part of it on the bottom. So I think I'm gonna do that because I wanna use up my space for my card. So we're gonna say happy Mother's Day, okay? Does that make sense, scholars? So at the top, okay, I'm gonna write with my very, very best printing. I'm gonna say H A, okay? And then I'm going to put a dash, and then I'm going to put P in quotation marks because we're talking about this kind of P, right? Hat P, and then down here you can write Mother's Day. And you could put some exclamation marks, however many you want, 
to complete your card. Okay. Now, scholars, you can um, you can do fancy letters when you make your card today for your mom. You can make um, more designs and details in the background. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to draw the P part for your Mother's Day card. And then when you're done, you're going to open it up. And on the inside, not on the top part, but on this bottom part, that's where you're going to write a little note to your mom telling her how thankful you are and how much you love her and how much you care for her because moms really do a lot of things. And so you want to spoil your mom on this day. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a little simple Mother's Day card today called Happy Mother's Day. All right, scholars, um, I hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Be good and be kind to your mom on that day and make sure you tell her that you love her.